All right, so I want to talk about something that I, I I don't think I've seen talked about, whether on YouTube, online, somewhere, or even in the news. Obviously, they, they won't definitely won't say it in the news. But I want to talk about how media um, uses their headlines and 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 it's like it's like clickbait, but for you know for their purposes, right? So. All right, you got to start paying. There's a lot of things. Hopefully, this is like I haven't rehearsed, you know, I haven't wrote anything down. So I'm brainstorming. This is like raw, uncut, live, right? Not live, but you get what I'm saying. So first off, let me start off by saying what I say with on camera doesn't necessarily affect my opinions and my views. Um, I do what's called YouTube-based acting, if, you know. But with that being said, um. You, you, you have to start paying attention to the media Like really think about it for a second Now I'm not going to really You know with the whole thing The fake news and all that going around I don't want to get into that too much And I don't really want to get into the politics too much Um, But I just want you to start Paying attention to certain things I want you to put Everything you know about What the media does and what, what they're supposed to do But I want you to just start Paying attention to what they do right Start paying attention to the headlines. Now, you're going to see, like, their their tactics on how to get people to watch their channel. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about little things. Like, you ever see the media, and, and I'm sure you've seen it plenty of times, but probably didn't even pay too much attention. But I'm going to point it out to help guide you. To start paying attention so you can see how evil now I'm not gonna say I don't I'm not gonna, I don't blame I'm not gonna, I don't blame them for doing this because at the end of the day it's all about views and it's like a YouTube video you click on this YouTube video you know anybody could do clickbait just to get you to click and then you start watching it and it's like oh well, it's not you know it's not what I thought it would be and, and, you know with the media you don't really say that too much because it's like it's kind of like obvious, but not obvious. So when I point it out to you, it's going to guide you to... And then after watching this video, you should have a better understanding on what's obvious and what's not obvious. Um, well, the obvious of them trying to get you to watch their views and, and the evil tactics they use. And again, I don't blame them because it's all about views, it's about money. It's just... Anyway. So, one is... You ever see the split screen? Um, it's like, all right, so you get, like, uh, the host of the show, and then he'll talk about, I don't know, like, the hot topic was Trump. It's, all, it's either Trump, protest, or whatever the case is. So let's say it's Trump. Oh, so uh, he'll get a, a person from, like, who's far left and a person who's far right. Let's just say a conservative and a liberal, right? He'll have them both on the split screen, or sometimes they're right there in front of him, and that little little desk on one side, one on the other side. So then, for the most part, it's a split screen. One is somewhere else, one is somewhere another place. And then you see a screen here in the middle, then the the other two on one side, right? And so it's three screens showing three faces, and the guy in the middle of the host is like, "Okay, so Trump, uh, health care. What do you?" You know, he'll say something, you know, then he'll be like, oh, so what do you think? He'll ask the one person, oh, I believe this and that, and, and this is good, and, you know, and he's trying, and, and then they'll ask the far left person, so what are your thoughts? Well, no, no, this is this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. And, and it starts getting to, like, uh, debate. It's just, you know, it's just like watching, you know, those boxes, MMA fights, you know how they, like, post up for a conference, and, like, they have a fight coming up, so they got to post that up. Uh, pre-fight challenge uh, picture or something and they get real close to each other like grilling each other and sometimes they get like they start pushing each other headbutting each other like like forcing each other and then some of them are just like yeah whatever yeah uh, like looking at them like okay okay we'll see when we fight and then you get those that are like really like got the beef like they, they start hitting each other but you know a lot of it is just for for money it's just for show it's just to hype things up oh he, oh, he, oh he did that Oh, I can't wait to see the fight after that. It's just, honestly, you really... So, to me, seeing that and then watching this split-screen stuff, 
it's it's kind of the same thing. It's like, all right, all right. So so this guy just asks a question, and he, and it's like a debate class. It's like, all right, class. It's like, all right, look, abortion. Should it, should abortion be legal? One's gonna say yes. You know, he's gonna say yes. And the other one's against it, and the other one's for it, right? So they're, oh yeah, it's for all. Oh, it's for it, you know this and that. Oh, you're killing the baby. This and that. And the other one's like, oh well, you know, women have the right to choose. This and that. You know, things happen, and then it's like get into this debate. It's like high school debate class. Seriously. It's like, oh, capital punishment. Do you think capital punishment really go, oh, you know, government has no right to kill people. Now. And then you're like, well, you know, you can let them, you know. So it's just like this whole debate. And so, and it's like entertainment. And that's what it is. And again, I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. I'm not, I'm just saying it's evil. You know, it's just like, and it's a hype. And, and what, what bothers me is that if you know it's a hype, it's like a, 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 a WWE uh, match. It's like, you know it's a hype. It's cool. But people don't know. Like, people actually think, you know, like, if they just get caught up in the hype. That's all I'm saying. Um, So that's one. Now, I want to talk about something else. On top of that. Pay attention to their headlines. Now, their headlines is, is, is so evil. I, I, I disagree with it. But I understand why they do it. Think of a topic, anything. It, it, it could be like, for example, a, a shooting, right? A shooting. They'll say something like, "Oh, uh, there was a shooting." You know, you know. You would think, you would think, right? Um, a police officer shot a person. You know, there was a police involved shooting or something. No, no, they, that, they can't do that. That doesn't bring views. Oh, white police officer shoot black male, black teen. Unarmed young black teen, father of two. Like they gotta like they gotta like throw in the whole like they gotta throw in the details. A young a young working man, father of two, with two kids. You know, and it's, it is they just gotta throw it. And why throw the see the thing? All right, so this is the part I want you to pay attention to. Why is it? Why was it necessary? Without knowing anything, why was it necessary to point out? the race of the individuals. Even if they don't mention the race, they'll say police officer shoots a black unarmed person. Like the whole, uh, the thing in Texas, right? Police officer shoots an unarmed black teen. Like, why you gotta say his race? Think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. Why? Why? Why is it necessary to say the person's race? And that's, and that's like frustrating because you know why they doing it? Like I know why they doing it. It's so obvious. It's just it, they, it's the hype, and people get caught up in it. You know, it's like, and 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 you if you pay attention, you're gonna notice that. You're gonna notice that if it's a uh, uh, let's say it's an African American police officer, and it sh- they shoot a, a a white person, or Hispanic, or another black person, they're not gonna say, oh, black officer shoots black teen. No. See how stupid that sounds? But to them, it makes sense to say, oh, white police officer, or, or police officer shoots black teen. But if it's a black officer, they won't say black officer shoots black teen. They won't, they won't, they probably won't even say officer shoots black teen if it's, if it's a black officer. So what I'm saying is, about this whole scenario, all I'm saying is to pay attention to, ask yourself why do they say that? Why do they feel like it's necessary to say the race? Why? I'm still like, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, I know why. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I know why. But I want you, I want you to ask yourself why. And then once you figure that out, once you figure out the whole, the split screen debate on, 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 on the topics or whatever the case is you have. Then you're going to start understanding the evilness of, uh, of uh, you know, these news medias. And how they, like, it's like clickbait. And, and, and it's the hype. You read that, oh, police officer does this. And, oh, shoot. Let me go click and read or watch the video of this incident. <laughs> And, and it's a hype. People get caught up, you know, caught up in, and and it's just 
it's just mind baffling how how easy and how quick and and, and and those are the hot topics Trump is a gold mine for the media Trump the protests any police involved anything um and, uh, what else what else anything with any city government any government wars Korea anything with wars overseas all this is a gold mine for the media you got to start paying attention you really got to start paying attention and once you watch this video and you start watching those headlines again, you're going to see. You're going to be like, oh, shoot, you know what? Sometimes it takes someone to point things out. Maybe you know, maybe you didn't know. But sometimes it takes for someone to point something out. For you to say, for you to say look at that next headline, it's like, you know what? That dude was right. He knew what he was talking about. I, I see what's going on here. I see now. And that's all I want you to do. Look, again, I don't blame them. I get why they do it. I get it. It's all about views, and I get it. You know, if if you own a company and and you and and you within the legal standard, you know, if you're allowed to say that and you can do that, you're gonna do it. If you know that's gonna get you more money. I get it. All I'm saying is, is, as a viewer, I want you to start paying attention. That's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and share. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you see it? Do you not see it? Thanks for watching. Take care.